Jim Florentine in studio. Uh, let's take a peek at Leno tonight. Norton's going to be on tonight. He got some kind of emergency call yesterday. He had to get out of here. An emergency call from Leno. From Leno. <laughs> Personally from Leno. Leno's like, I need you. Terry Bradshaw backed out of some kind of bit. And instead of Leno finding someone local, he said, fuck that. Get Jim Norton on a plane. That's pretty that cool, huh? That is an odd thing that Jim Norton can replace Terry Bradshaw for something. Right. Like, I don't understand what that could be. They're yeah. not quite similar. Right. <laughs> and then... We, we all know our pal Norton. He was out of his mind yesterday. Yeah, I heard there was a big crisis. And, pretty much yelling and screaming at God because God decided to throw a storm our way when he needed to get to an airport. I know because we have the same agent and manager, mm -hmm. and I had some shit going on yesterday that I need to talk to him about. The look, look, there's a Jim Norton situation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i got to call you, you back in three hours. The both of them said that. I'm like, what's going on? Is he okay? They're like, he's trying to get to the airport. I'm like... He, if and I can't talk to you about this thing in my career. They're like, no, we got <laughs> we have a situation. Yeah, Jimmy was losing his mind. Oh. If he, he, if his flight wasn't delayed, he would have missed his flight. Right, exactly. Yeah. He was uh, that late. I laughed because I thought you said to your agents, "I got a Jim Norton situation to the, make them drop everything." Uh, no, they. That's did. what you should do. I, uh, yeah, I should. From now on. I got a Norton situation. <laughs> now, you know, we're having Bill Ward on our, that metal show. We're taping in like two weeks out in L.A. Very cool. Jim has this big Black Sabbath picture. The only autograph he doesn't have on there is Bill Ward. Oh, oh you're so involved. Oh, oh, it's, it's, oh, this whole thing so is out, it's out of control. That's all it means now. That's all it's about now. So he's, he's getting that. He's been trying to get this anything. picture. Yep. He's been trying to get this picture out to L.A. so we could uh, get it signed for him. And oh. he had uh, Kenny checking out flights to make sure there's like a, um, a closet where they could put the picture in because he can't put it in the overhead compartment. It's a whole thing. So he's calling the airlines to make sure like a 777 has the he closet, needs, but the 7067 uh, doesn't. He needs a special <laughs> plane. Yes. Just yeah. get Kenny in here. <laughs> picture. He's out of his mind. Here comes Kenny. Uh, wow. He, he's, he's out of his mind with this stuff. Right. Well, first of all, uh, take us back to yesterday because this was all last minute shit with Leno and, and Kenny had to take the brunt of it. You know, my home office was the command center for seven <laughs> hours yesterday. Seven hours, Kenny told me. I had two, three phone lines, my two home phone lines and my cell phone going between Jim, his manager, his agent, the Tonight Show, the car service, the hotel. And while I'm talking, the Internet, when I'm checking every airline, every airport, every flight, tracking the weather. <laughs> this, by the way, I got to tell people, is not a joke. Yeah. This is what Kenny has to deal with yeah. when there's a yeah. Jim Norton situation. Yeah. <laughs> and getting text messages every five minutes from Jim, all right, who took two hours and 15 minutes to get from his apartment in Manhattan to John F. Kennedy Airport, which should take a half hour yeah. top. Yeah. yeah. All right. But he just left in rush hour traffic during that tornado yesterday. <laughs> Right, and thank God his flight was 25 minutes late, or he wouldn't have made it. Yeah, he'd have missed his flight. Yeah, and yeah. you would have to hear it, right? Yeah, I'm call I'm calling the Port Authority police to try to get him an escort to the to the airport. Jimmy knows how to get escorts. Yeah, through <laughs> TSA. Don't need yeah, yeah, help with that. <laughs> through TSA security. Oh my God! Right, and then. He's got this picture that I'm surprised he didn't have an armed guard or me <laughs> accompany with him because he basically has his manager has to, like, get an armored car stuffed with pillows to transport this picture. Yeah, it's got to be no, on this is, pillows. And, yeah, yeah, and because my manager is not going to be in town or something tomorrow, so he want, he's freaking out. Like, who's going to pick the picture up and how are they going to transport it to your office? Wait, where's the picture now? Well, Jimmy brought the picture with him right, on so the he flight. Has he the made picture. sure yeah. that yeah. there was a yeah. closet. Is there a cl was there a closet on this well, flight? Well, he he's cursing me because the dumb people that answer the phone don't know the closet dimensions <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> dumb <laughs> people. He's punching up. Yeah, uh, I, I can't. He punch up the specs on yeah. a seven seven seven. I need to know the uh, dimensions of uh, the closet. Florentine, yeah. you're so involved. He's not going to ask you how the taping went. None of that. It's going all be about <laughs> did you get it signed uh, ladies and gentlemen want to do a buckle your seatbelt we're gonna have a little turbulence uh, now no no bumps <laughs> yeah. i got a picture in the closet <laughs> yeah. could freak out if there's a, a little turbulence yeah yeah and the picture is double poster size 
It's not it's like huge. huge. Yeah, it's not an eight by ten. It's a double poster. Size. Is it really a double poster? It's size? in a frame too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen the with picture. Museum glass. Oh, so it doesn't no, get no like, joke. Oh yeah. my god, this is the real god. deal. Yeah, and this is the Black Sabbath picture. Yeah, of him. Of him. Right. At with the, all the Sabbath, and it's one last signature he needs. The drummer. The drummer. Bill Ward. The Bill Ward to complete the uh, the oh autographs. I'm amazed he took if it out of his apartment to L.A. something happens I, right, it, to I, this I, fucking yeah. thing, because <laughs> it's got to travel 6,000 miles. Yeah. There and back. Oh, my God. But if, if anything happened to that. He's freaking out because my manager can't meet him at the airport or something. So he doesn't. He's like, who's going to pick this picture up? How is it going to get transported to your office 20 <laughs> minutes away from LAX? <laughs> who's taking this? Like, what do you think? They put it on the back of a flatbed <laughs> yeah. and not tie it down. And you make one turn and it's going to fucking roll over on the 405. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so who's taking it to your, your I don't manager? know. He was trying to work manager's that out. Office. He was in such a crisis last so night. Why wouldn't he take it there? No, they hired somebody. I don't know because they hired, they somebody. hired somebody to take his picture. Yeah, because to... last time um, his his manager, he's fucking crazy. Yeah, I well, know. you know him, Jonathan. You know he's nuts. You know he travels the world. No, to like, Jimmy's fucking uh, crazy. Everyone's he's nuts. Too. But he he for Jimmy's birthday one oh. day he got him like a, an autographed poster of of Woody Allen, uh -huh. right? And Jonathan had like his secretary like ship it to Jimmy from L.A. to New York. It was Jack Klugman. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, oh it Jack was the Klugman. Woody Allen one. Jack oh, wow. Klugman. Yeah. She like wrapped it in a sweatshirt and stuck it in a box. And by the time it got here, <laughs> oh, it was in pieces. <laughs> oh, he hasn't talked to her since. <laughs> he, when he calls, he won't. He just calls a different number to get connected to Jonathan. He won't call. He her, won't call his her. personal. Yeah, secretary, because he will not talk to her. Oh wow. Wow. wow! You know what would be the greatest thing if we get on set at, at that metal show and Bill Ward's like, "Nah, I don't want to sign it." Oh man! I just, I'm not in this. I don't know if you're gonna put this on eBay because you got yeah. all of it. How? Nah. Imagine that. Nah, I don't. I'm not. <laughs> well, I don't sign with those guys. There's like some problem. Yeah. Do you got the oh, special pen great. too? Well, oh, I don't. Right. You need oh, the special you, pen. You better talk yeah. to Norton. It's got to be a Virgin Sharpie. Right. See, Kenny knows. It's yeah. got to be virgin. Yeah, it's yeah you be can a... never have been used I on something Ward else. I Bill Ward just yeah. signed it with a horrible <laughs> fucking <laughs> pen. Oh, a ballpoint. <laughs> just some yeah. horrible yeah. real thing. That you looking. can't see his signature <laughs> right. at all. And you have to test the Sharpie to make sure it's an even ink flow. <laughs> <laughs> really? So as not yeah. to make a blotch. Yeah. Yeah. Are you uh, kidding? Beforehand. E, e rock has got a life or death assignment today, oh, too. Oh, shit. What's this two going on? Well, Philip Seymour Hoffman is coming uh, to Sirius today at 11 o'clock to oh. do interviews. Okay. Wow. He's so, a very fine actor. I, I got to hear it right from E-Rock. And then, Kenny, obviously you'll fill in the blanks. But uh, E-Rock just ran down the hall, which is kind of strange Running. to look at. <laughs> <laughs> this is I nuts. What, what? With this Philip Seymour Hoffman oh, thing? Man. Yeah. A lot of people have been working on this. I don't envy well, you. Well, Jimmy gets everybody involved and expects everyone to drop their duties. Everything. Yeah, you know yeah. what's amazing drop about everything. this whole thing that's going on, the Bill Ward and Philip Seymour Hoffman? The guy's doing a bit on The Tonight Show yeah, tonight. Yeah, right. And he's worried about this other shit. Like, you'd think you'd be in your hotel and totally focusing. Yeah, this is a big night for yeah. him. He will focus on this other stuff way before. Focus the bit. Obsess. Obsess, right. He'll obsess on this. He's got five million people watching him tonight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> He's going to be all over E Rock and everyone else, making sure that's done. Where's People, my picture? People, comedians die to get on the Tonight right, Show. Right. It's yeah, the but, biggest break in show business. Yes. You're forgetting this too. He only likes to go out there so he could eat sushi at his favorite sushi place <laughs> yes. and get the miles on yeah. Continental. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and meet p other people that are on Leno and get their autographs and pictures. Can we just uh, go back to what was just said? Because this is the God's honest truth. Because some people get confused. Are you guys making jokes? No. He he books trips to L.A. just to go to a sushi joint. That, that, that I yeah. have been yeah. to twice, and it is amazing. It's in a dumb strip mall. It's a shitty place. Oh, that place? But this, yeah, I know which one. Sushi. Uh, yeah, but the hunchback Zawa. guy. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I you're know. in the L.A. area, it's the only place to get sushi. But he will book trips specifically just because he obsessed uh -huh. about the sushi at this joint. Yeah. Oh, can I? Yeah, that's the Tonight Show is secondary. Oh, yeah. 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 That's just, yeah. you know, the it reason really is. So, e to go out there. Why is your assignment nuts? Well, this has been going in the planning stages for a while because there's a uh, an A-list celebrity who's going to be here today. Oh, we already said who it was. Oh, okay. So, Philip Seymour Hoffman's yeah, going to yeah. be here. Now, going through publicists and um, talent bookers and all this other stuff, it was said that he wasn't taking any photos, not signing any autographs, but somehow 
it got through that Jim Norton would be the only one. He's always the only the one. The only oh, one yeah, yeah. who would be allowed to get a photo. So this was the big deal. Jimmy tells me yesterday he's leaving for Los Angeles. He's got to do the Tonight Show. So Kenny will have something for me to get signed. Now, originally, he was not going to sign anything. Right. They just made the exception for the photo. So now the photo exception has to be changed to an oh, autograph an exception. an autograph exception. What do you think uh, it would be like more of a hassle for Philip Seymour Hoffman, uh, uh, the signing or the photo? I would think signing would be easier. So I think it's easier, right? Yeah, because he's probably... It looks like shit. He didn't feel he's doing radio, yeah, yeah, so he right, feels right. like he doesn't a have signature to signature is easy. Doesn't have to look yeah. Oh, by the way, I just saw him right there, there he is. up on the TV Same screen. Same guy right, right there. Uh, there you go. He's a fucking Philip good Seymour actor, Hoffman. Man, Philip Seymour Hoffman. He's directing this? What movie is he in? I don't know. Hmm. This is the movie though. That he'll be promoting today. It's not a, on our show, obviously. Not on our show. Why what show is he doing, by show? the way? Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. I gotta go check the the Should we just start ripping him apart to ruin this whole thing for Jimmy? <laughs> Zach Goes Boating is the name of the movie? Jack. Well, that oh, movie Jack, Jack, looks Jack, like... Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I just, All right, why is Jimmy it... would hate me. So I'm now you got to get an autograph? So now it, it got to prove that now the autograph is acceptable. It's a go. So I have to make sure that I'm there waiting the second he's done to get it signed right before he leaves. If you fuck this up... What's getting signed, by the way? Um, his copy of Boogie Nights that has several other signatures on it. Oh, wow. So, did you have a special one. pen? Did he t talk yeah, to you well, about the marker? Yeah, but yes. With all the turmoil going on yesterday, it's right? So He's like, don't forget to stop at my apartment and pick up the DVD. Oh, my God. So I, I go to the doorman. It's in a padded manila envelope that says <laughs> fragile on it. <laughs> Handwritten, fragile by Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking funny, man. He's, oh, so, is he a nut? But a DVD is, is never fragile. No, never no, fragile. No. I've never gotten a DVD in the mail and it broke. <laughs> it was broke. Oh, never. Yeah, no. Are we allowed to look at the Boogie Nights DVD right now? Um, I can't allow it. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny's sweating. Come on, I really want to see who signed it. Who has signed it already? Um, <laughs> I, I didn't look. At, I, I think Heather Graham signed Heather it. Heather Graham. Um, sure, she was here. I didn't look at the other signatures because I was trying really trying not was, to touch uh, it. Mark Wahlberg. Was Mark Wahlberg I ever? No, we ever I never had him on. We've had him on the phone. Um, Riley guy, John C. Riley. Is that his oh, name? Oh, yeah, he might. Yeah, yeah Riley signed, signed it. John C. Riley's great. Right. Uh, so there's two wow. things going on. There's a, there's a, few, there's a few signatures Burt Reynolds. On there. I picked up the um, the black ones in the back, but I grabbed the silver one just to bring in here. Silver. But these are the special kind of pens. Yeah, you, it's like it's a, like a spray can, spray paint can. Yeah, you got to shake it, and it's a silver thing. And those are very dangerous. You could get a great signature, or you could ruin the fucking thing if you press too hard. The shit just pours out onto whatever you're trying to sign. As Jimmy has instructed me over the years, when yes. you get these new ones, because I've done this many times with uh -huh. him. So you get the new pen, and usually he likes to do it because he doesn't trust of me doing course. this. But I'll hand him the new pen, and he'll sit there and he'll go like this. Dab. Oh, oh, oh! Really? He does a quick, fast scribble. No, this goes on for almost thirty seconds. Like he's just sitting there <laughs> scribbling this, just to make sure oh, that, that each side, because if you get it pointed at one side here, it could dry out, and then all the ink is on. Oh, the so top. he's shaping the uh, the point so that if it's a brand new marker, you go to sign, it won't smudge. Yeah, it won't smudge, or, or it, it, sometimes thick. it won't. The ink won't come out if you go too right, fast. Right, right. So, so you'll miss half the signature. So that's an got evenly distributed out. amount of uh, on both ink sides, or whatever that is. And then it's closed back up and not to be used until. Quarantine. Please sign his and, DVD. And if you're sitting there, <laughs> please sign it. For, as Philip Seymour Hoffman, please do this for us. Wow. I don't know. It'll we, be one for the ages. We've been friends for so long. Please I don't know if do I can it. do that to him. He would, you guys have been friends forever. He would not talk to you like he doesn't talk no, to I, the secretary. Absolutely. It would be over. <laughs> they would. It would be like, that motherfucker. He fuck would tell him. the manager, fuck agent, him. get rid of him. Fuck Florentine. If he's not you fucking cunt. <laughs> You're a cunt, Florentine. You would just be that, that guy. Yeah. Wow, there's two Don't situations. Fuck this up. There was one time I forgot who the celebrity was, but uh, Jimmy and I went down there with his photo to get another photo and get the photo that he had signed. Uh, the person was coming over, but then a publicist or somebody went to talk to that person. Oh, interference. And so we had to wait a couple seconds more. But Jim turned to me. He's like, "Put the cover back on that marker. It's drying out." <laughs> so I'm sitting here with the photo like this. 
<laughs> and not, not only he has the photos professionally done by this photo lab, really, you know, yeah, high tech yeah. stuff. And it's sort of on a cardboard uh, mount. So that uh -huh. you don't have a newspaper or oh, magazine. It's not flat. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's perfectly flat yeah. on a piece of cardboard. So when it's signed, it can be signed evenly, perfectly. No little bumps on it or anything. Yeah. yeah. So I, I would be standing there holding this while Jim goes to shake his hand, uh, whoever the person's hand is, and uh, say hello and what have you. So I'd be sitting there holding the photo and the marker with the cap. If the person's coming over and then gets uh, derailed for a moment. Remote put it back on, put it back three, on. Two, yeah. one, mark. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, when you're the cameraman for his oh, photo, yes. we've all oh, been we've the all camera. We've all had right? that pressure. You 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 can't you, you got to look inconspicuous. I don't know how you look inconspicuous. Well, he'll tell you to do that. Though. Yeah, you're stalking somebody waiting to take their picture. <laughs> you can't turn the camera on too soon uh -huh. because even though if he has a hundred percent battery, you can't waste it. <laughs> You know, and, and then you got to do dry runs. 13. You got to. <laughs> We've all done the dry runs. We've done yeah. Metallica yeah. backstage. I remember, like, all right, Hetfield's in that room. So Jim, you stand by the door, like you're coming out. Let me take a picture to make sure the lighting's good. So I would be walking out the door and coming that way, and we're looking at it. I guess nah. You'd have not. to be the Hetfield like stand-in. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, all right, we got to get Hetfield over here because the lighting's better. So not when he, we won't get him right when he comes out of the door. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About the halfway in the light. Yeah. Wait till he takes <laughs> your five steps. You remember when we were at Giant? Stadium backstage, two hours after the show, getting uh, getting all the guys' pictures. Were you at that one? No, I was at the Newark one, the, uh, the oh. Prudential Arena with him. Was it Prudential Arena? I thought you were there, because it was the last time I ever hung around with uh, Norton backstage, because I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> by, by the time we got to our car, there was there was no cars in the lot. That's how <laughs> long know. we had to wait. He'll he'll wait until the sun's coming. I know. Up. An hour and forty five minutes for Ace Freely, and he ran out the other door. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting. Fortune, there you like, weren't there. I, I no, I was sure at Nassau Coliseum for Metallica okay. Godsmack. I thought you were there for the last time I I went through at, this. So how mad was he at mad at Ace Freely that he left? Oh, we we, we oh, were no. sitting. It was the House of Blues in New Orleans. <laughs> You know, and, uh, you know, they treat us to dinner, you know, they have that uh, and VIP tickets and it was a great show and everything. And then they bring us backstage and we're sitting in the green room. We're the only three people, me, Norton and Marina Franklin. And, uh, you know, time's passing. Where is he? What's going on? Ah, Jim's like, oh, he's taking a shower. Like, he's always got an excuse to justify how long the time is taking. Until, right. Until you hit, like, the hour mark. Now he's starting to second guess, like, what a loser he is. And, you know, he's waiting and he's never going to come. And, I, you know, now I got to try to get him positive and give him some hope and everything, you know. And then all of a sudden they're turning the lights out. And <laughs> the security guard's, like, kicking us out. And they're like, he left an hour ago. You know? Oh, God. Wow. How, how was that night after that? <laughs> how was that? The entire night's fucked. Uh, to talk him off a ledge. He, was, how, he probably went back to his room and emptied the mini bar. You know? <laughs> how many times did he say, fuck Ace Freely? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, also, yeah. He fuck him. The yeah. no wonder Gene threw him out of band. Yeah. Right, right, right. We went through uh, this recently with Carol Burnett over at the Jazz at Lincoln Center. <laughs> oh, right. right. <laughs> Carol Burnett. Okay, so Jim was so excited that she was, uh, she was doing another XM program that tapes over there. So we get there really early. And in that same area, they're also setting up for... Um, uh, it, it's that thing where the, the networks display what's coming up in the fall. Uh -huh, so yeah, Discovery punch. Channel was there and a couple other things. So we're walking by, and right in the area where we're supposed to meet Carol Burnett, they're setting up... Oprah Winfrey's dressing room, Mike Tyson's dressing room, all these oh, other people. Shit. And he's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, we have to get this fast. They're going to kick us out of here. Oprah's right there. Like, he's freaking out about who's these rooms next to us. <laughs> so great. we're waiting for Carol, and Carol is a little bit late. Not a lot. I'd say maybe five, ten minutes past the time she was supposed to be there. But we had gotten there so early that Jim was freaking out that she wasn't going to show up. They were going to kick us out because they're setting up this TV. Like, he's pacing back and forth, yeah, going, yeah, driving man. everyone nuts. And he's trying to rationalize in his head where she is, what's going on, what's the delay. Finally shows up. And here's the other problem with taking photos with Jim. I'm glad he got this new camera that he's been playing with. Because yeah. his old one, the silver one, the flash takes a little bit longer. Oh, that's the worst. So you, you yep. sit there and you hold it, but you have to wait for the flash to go off. When it finally does, you have your photo. But that's nothing you can do anything about. Yeah. And if you've probably seen it in the studio a few times, he would sit there, come on, come on. Like, like yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, going fast enough on, for come him. Come on, come on, come on. And he also goes, oh, I think I was blinking. Can we get another one? So he does the two shot, and he did it with Carol Burnett. 
Both photos came out fine, and then he got annoyed because somebody else asked him to take a photo. Didn't know who Jim was, <laughs> but it was working for the company. He said, hey, could you take a photo? And Jim was just staring at the guy, like dead eye, no expression on his face, <laughs> and then hands the camera off to me and walked out of the room. <laughs> he should have done the uh, old chop their heads off picture. Yeah. <laughs> but now you can't do it with digital I, pictures. I, it sucks. So, yeah, it's I like, got, oh, you press the button. I got off. scolded once by Norton. It was Camden. We were doing a live broadcast. I think it was OzFest. Mm -hmm. Trying to remember who it was. I think it was Rob Zombie. I'm not sure, but we were getting pictures with everybody. It was a really cool thing. And Jim, I was camera guy, like we've all been. And he scolded me because after the picture was taken, that I should have known that the glare was going to come back off the window that they oh, were both right. standing in front of. And he was all bummed that we didn't do our dry run and see how the window thing was going to interfere with the picture and blah, blah, blah. And that's all I heard for uh, at least an hour or two. Oh, fuck. That was the famous had to be photoshopped picture, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the picture was perfect. You could see Jim. You could see if it was Rob Zombie, I believe it was. Ah, the glare. Ah, I but, hate the glare. But he was Bar. obsessing with the glare that had didn't take away from anything. And then it was famous photoshopped yeah he figured out how to take the glare out <laughs> he should just really hire a professional photographer to, to, to go with them around everywhere right. yeah, with yeah. an amazing camera and yep. he'll know the angles the lighting all that stuff he'll snap 50 of them <laughs> yeah. in yeah. five seconds <laughs> yeah. and then he has a whole roll to choose from it's like his headshots <laughs> we'll send you the contact though. sheets tomorrow you, you know how long up. it would take him to choose a picture and get he, he's a madman <laughs> selena gomez was here about a month or two oh, ago i remember that so he got it set up, like, uh, again, like, you know, for him to get the VIP picture. Yeah. And they bring her out to the lobby. But I guess some of the bosses brought, like, their little teenage girls here. To, they to, like, certainly They're tweens. Yeah, to get yeah. their picture. So there's, like... Like twenty girls out there waiting to get their picture with Selena Gomez, and here we, I walk in with Norton, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all looking at her. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a picture with her too. Yeah, she's pretty. Hey, I, I, and that's another thing. Jimmy's taken a lot of pictures, or I had, I had a lot of pictures taken on his camera of me and people in, in the studio. I don't think I've ever seen a one. Oh, really? He usually sends them. Yeah, he'll he'll. You he's remind never him. sent one. You gotta remind. He's absent. I don't think he's ever sent me one. No, yeah. he will. He will. He's you. probably got a camera full of me. I think, I think he secretly hates me for not getting the Randy Johnson secretly? picture. For him. No, no, you secretly hate me. Oh, he, shut uh, up. <laughs> uh, the Randy Johnson photo that made his book where Randy Johnson blew him off. Oh, but yeah, I, that's a great one. I think he really wanted me to like try to risk my life and run in traffic to get on the other side of the fucking <laughs> to get street. The to yep. get the front view of Randy Johnson walking away from Norton. I, I think I think he holds a grudge to this day over that one, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I thought I was bad with the pictures. We have all these metal guys on our show, and no matter how many times they're on, I always get a picture. I got like six with Rob Halford. I've gotten like 20 with Lemmy over the years. Mm -hmm. I just have to get an updated one. Yeah. <laughs> and I just hit up Lem Lemmy and Halford were on the same day. This was like six months ago. First show, second show. I got Lemmy earlier. I got Halford. So my guy, fine. And then at one point, I see them both talking to each other in a dressing room. I'm like, if I can get a fucking picture with Lemmy and both Halford them, dude, at the that's... same time. So I had to go back in there and interrupt their conversation. They're like, enough with you already. Oh, shit. You Lemmy was guy. only had like one Jack Daniels, so he was fucking cranky. <laughs> And I, I said, I don't give a fuck. I was supposed to be back on set. I'm like, I got to get in, and I got a picture yeah. with them. Like, I don't care if I, I pissed them off. It takes two seconds. I want to get pictures, but sometimes it's too much work. I, Dude, I, I couldn't do what Jimmy does. I was It'd just as guilty as Jimmy with uh, out in L.A. Um, oh, with Chris Cornell. With, with, with uh, Chris Cornell. Yeah, it I happens to all of us. I was just as guilty. I handed, uh, I handed my phone to uh, my girl there and said, uh, said, uh, the second I start walking over and I'm even in frame with him, just keep snapping. Just keep snapping. I go, I'm going in the pool. He's in the pool. I said, I'm going to swim over and we're going to have a conversation in the pool. I go, just snap, go around the pool. Get a, so I was doing the same fucking right, shit right. Jimmy does. It's like, <laughs> just keep going, get every different angle. And, and I'm on purpose kind of holding my hands like, hey, like, hey, I'm having a real conversation here. We're in the pool mm -hmm. and... You know, have, yeah. just don't stop snapping. But I want 50 pictures. I got to defend you and everybody else in the room. The difference, yeah, we all have those moments. We got someone we want a picture with, and you'll do crazy shit. Absolutely. But he does it with people that you shouldn't care about. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like Selena yeah, Gomez, that's... if I had a picture with Selena Gomez, that would be kind of cool. If she was walking by and I could make it happen, sure. Right. But not waiting around for someone like Selena Gomez, you know, to, to, to get a picture. Yeah. That's the difference, <laughs> I think. We all have people we really like, that heroes really and stuff. That you really want to get a, like, yeah. fuck, I would love a picture with that person. That's why Iraq, uh, he, he's learned over the years. But the, the 
worst Are you a beaten thing. man by this? No, uh, well, but A Rock knows what I'm gonna say. Because there is so much pressure put on you, <laughs> it's worse than dealing with you two at times in here. <laughs> because he'll come in, nah, he'll, he's right. He I... runs down the checklist and his procedure. He'll show you how to hold whatever he's need to get, he needs to get signed. He already knows. Like once he's in there, he scouted the location of where you're going to take the photo, unless. He has to be brought somewhere else to meet the celebrity. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, which I think comes from the from the it's glare funny. photo. He's the guy, right? We've so, all been the guy, by the way. Yeah. You're just the latest guy. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He bribes me with dinners and things like that. And he goes, <laughs> oh, "Look, well, that's a good. You can for come you. in here. I'll take you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, steak saying. dinner. Why not? <laughs> yeah. You know, I I have a stock of boxing gloves and baseballs yep. in the office. Oh yeah, yeah. Just in case. Yeah, yeah just in case somebody comes. So yeah, he had a stock. Fucking just boxing gloves. And baseballs, generic boxing gloves right, and baseballs. Baseball players so that if a boxer or a baseball player comes in, <laughs> what about he can have them sign yeah, it. What about me, footballs? A lot of football guys coming through these days. He had me pick up a NHL professional puck because at one time I said I was going over to the NHL store across the street. Oh, my God. He gave me money to pick one up and keep in the desk in case a hockey player came around that he might know. <laughs> he doesn't even know hockey. <laughs> it's locked in the drawer. He might know a little, know. little bit about uh, it, but... Okay. It's Jimmy. Could you pick up a uh, Goodyear Slick Don the Snake through Dome's coming in? And I need it signed. <laughs> pick up a Slick. I, I, don't, I don't know if we could do this break if Jimmy was in, by the way. I know it's not not cool to do this to him, but we've been trying to get this out for a while. But we're too scared to do it in front of him. He was nuts yesterday when NASCAR people were walking I around. He never was. watched the NASCAR oh, I know. in his life. Could you get me a, a big block Chevy engine? I need a big block. Uh, <laughs> just bring it in here, Ken. Get a hoist. I need a sign. I don't think he can name one NASCAR driver. <laughs> wait, wait till you see. His apartment's like a museum. It's He's amazing. got glass cases full of stuff. Yes. Pictures hanging everywhere. It's like a museum. It's, not, it's a museum. It's, it's not a house. He's, a he's to close live. to being a hoarder there, when it comes to yeah. this. He hoards. He hoards. That's, his, but, but that's the, his hoarding. The only difference between him and the hoarders are he hoards cool shit. Right. It's like stuff that's cool. Yep. Celebrity pictures. But we're going to find him under a glass oh, case yeah. one day. This dead. Is be a giant <laughs> Sabbath fucking thing with, with the corner stuck through his chest like, as everything collapses on him in his apartment. There's a new thing lately. If you if you want to watch him next time, we have somebody who has a, a book to promote. Jim now does this thing with books. If it's really important to him, because uh, I learned this the hard way too. <laughs> if it's really important to him. Um, the cover of the book has to be signed, uh -huh. not the, they usually open up, they open up to the blank and page and sign right. and, and everything. Now, how is Jimmy going to display that in his museum? museum? Exactly. Cause in the museum, that, that only makes sense. a Somebody, few people get to sit. He, was, yeah, he wasn't here one a few time. few trannies and maybe a friend every once in a while get to see this amazing collection of his. <laughs> he wasn't here one time, and I forgot who, who was in the building, but it was supposed to get the book signed and, you know, had the inside signed. And he looked at it, and he... he Grits his teeth uh, and holds it. Inside. After he smells the pages, he, he grips, <laughs> he he grips and holds it. Right. <laughs> um, then he goes, "Thank you so much." And he's like, ah, "He's like, I really wish they would have signed the cover." And I go, "I, I didn't know. You didn't say that." Now I know because when there's a book to be signed, where do you want it signed? Uh, inside is fine, yeah, which means he right, wants right. the book, but he's not going to display it. It's not going to be if displayed. it's got to be on the cover. That's going to be put into a glass case in his house. No, I'm not crazy with getting like signatures of everyone in here. Like Hope said before, if it's somebody important that's cool uh, to me or something, choose, I'll do that. Yeah. But in the old days, Iraq e used to do something that I wanted to fucking kill him for because I don't care about <laughs> oh, probably 90% of the people that come in. <laughs> right. I don't need photos with them. I, there's like shit. Like hot girls, I like getting pictures with hot actresses and shit like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, but most of the people don't care. Iraq e used to come up right in front of the guy and go, Anthony, you want a picture? Ugh. And now I, I'm sitting here, and you know me, I could sit here the whole fucking show right on my ass and not get up. I don't care. I'm doing the show, whatever. And now I got to be like... Yeah, you rock. Yeah, I want a picture. Well, what started out as With this who gives not a shit knowing, actor, thanks. all right? Because it was I was just making sure you got a photo that you didn't want. Later became, I'll do it because that's the only way I could get back at you for being yelled at for something. <laughs> yeah. So it'd be like, hey, you want a photo? And yeah. then Ant would sit there. Sure. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, you rock. <laughs> Uh, cause you can't say no at that point. Then it's like, nah, 
Now this unimportant piece of shit. Now yeah. let him leave. I do it to D boy now because when I oh, bring exactly. certain yeah. people into his studio to get you IDs, I'm like, can Derek get a photo? And then he gets all these photos <laughs> with people that he, <laughs> that he, he has give no a interest shit in. About. Oh, good. I, uh, Rick in California. <laughs> I don't have time to go to the phone right now, but he he says Bob Kelly had to suck a dick for a steak. E Rock only had to take a picture. Ah, oh, there you go. Yes. A little Poor call back to yesterday's show. I got um. Marilyn Manson was at this award show, and I wanted to get a picture with him. That's Big a good Manson one. fan. Yeah. You know, it's a tough one to get. Yeah, sure. He's not out in public. And he was just blown by everybody. So I knew he went in this one room. He just he was presenting an award. I knew he was going to come out that door. So I had my friend stand. I go, look, I'm just going to walk with him because there's no way he's stopping because there's people all over. <laughs> yeah. So just as I'm walking, just snap it. I'll ask him, but just keep keep going back. Good we strategy. were practicing it. Absolutely. It was just like Jim North. So he comes out, and I go, hey, Marilyn, can I get a picture with you? He wanted nothing to do with it. Supposedly, you can't call a Ma Marilyn. If you call Manson, he'll talk to you. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. He fucking oh, made up his name. Up. So I said, hey, Marilyn, and he, this is the picture. Look how fucking miserable he is. Oh, look, let me see. <laughs> look at you. You're like, ah. It looks like you're going, just snap it. That's actually, when we were walking, look how wow, miserable he is. Wow, he is miserable. And God it's damn. It's got to be said, Florentine's a mini Jim Norton. You, you get into this a little bit, too, don't well, you? Well, there's certain people, but with certain oh, he people. He hates you. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Holy he fuck, man. You. Yeah, it's only with people that, you know, but, you, you like, though. And, and I was like, you know what? I wasn't even mad. I go, look, he didn't have to break a stride. Fuck him. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't. he didn't even have to stop. It's just so as we're walking. He was still walking, walking during He was still that. walking, yeah. absolutely. Was I just stuck my mug in there. We make fun of him, but <laughs> Norton's probably got one of the biggest collections of oh, anyone. Probably? Of yeah, anyone. Of course he does. He's got to be right up there with anyone in this country. Yeah, well, uh, that hundreds was... Hundreds um, and hundreds of things. Hun hundreds, thousands, probably. At this yeah, point, well, right? from what I heard, and I, talking to Keith and uh, Ange, because uh, Keith's uh, Keith there. the cop's wife, Ange, uh, did my whole house. Did my whole house, decorated the whole fucking thing. It's beautiful. The thing is, my house was completely empty when she came in and said, all right, clean slate. I didn't want to, because I had sat there long, times with my girlfriend at the time, looking through swatches and, and of material for one couch. It took like, I sat once for three hours in a fabric store with this woman just babbling and and talking about materials and it's for one couch and it was a maybe right and i'm like three hours it will take years to furnish a house at this rate so um uh i get Ange in there to take care of it, and she did a fantastic job and jim has been over the house and complimented my house and stuff and said i'd like Ange to come over and you know uh hook up my place so she went over there with keith and Keith just sits down. He's got his, like, freaking PSP he's playing with on the couch as Ann just talking to Jim. And she's going, well, Jim, you know, there's certain things that I think, because it's not empty, it's a museum, like we said. Yeah. Uh, in order to make it more of a, a home, you know, we'll have to take some of this stuff and that. And, and Jimmy's like, I, I, um, no, this can't go. I need this. This is good. I'm willing to. And, and the things he was willing to do is like, all right, I'll get rid of the coaster. I'll get rid of one cup. And, and like a hoarder. Like a hoarder. Yeah, there's not one feminine like touch in his apartment. And now that yeah, like, yeah. his girlfriend's over there a lot, he wanted to like, I don't know what he wanted to do. He but. wanted to, because I, I know what he wants to do. And Ange would come back to my house and just, she 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 was shell shocked. It, like, like she had just hit the beaches of Normandy. She's, I don't know what to do. And she's a professional decorator. <laughs> and she goes, I don't know what to do. He really won't get rid of anything yeah. or put stuff in away or in storage. And, and, and yeah, that was something he said. He goes, this could stay right. It, it can hold lots of stuff. Like, that's his criteria. If it can hold lots of stuff. <laughs> it's like, no. Like, like, so she's like, all right, let's start here with maybe um, uh, your dining room. You know, well, no, I, it's like my office, right? Yeah. It's like his office. Well, okay, we'll get a desk. I don't want a big desk like Anthony's. No, no, no. We, we'll get a, a desk that'll suit this and work good. You know, let's start somewhere else. Do they give let's up? Uh, no, no, haven't wow, given up. But she, but she is beside herself. She doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he won't give an inch. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to get a house and just make a whole room the museum. Right. That's what That's he needs. That's what it needs. Yeah. His place is not big enough to have a museum and a house. A museum if in the middle of the live, whole thing. If he <laughs> wants to live in the museum, that's fine. <laughs> and then I heard, this was great because Keith told me this. It's like, you walk in and there's the bedroom. And now, now if you want to have a bedroom that's, that I guess a guy in his 40s and 
you want a, a kind of a classy, nice bedroom. It's very hard when the gentleman that owns the bedroom has a wall size kiss poster oh, I forgot about that. on the wall. I forgot about that. So it's hard to choose a nice <laughs> bed or... and, 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 you know, a fabric <laughs> right. and a, light fixtures, a, a, a dust <laughs> ruffle that goes with a kiss, a wall size billboard poster. Kiss. Bigger is better with him. I forgot. I forgot about that poster. I've seen that. <laughs> it's it takes up, in it's, his bedroom. And, and, and it's, it's just like, it I don't know wall. what goes with a kiss poster. You can't blow up anything bigger than that fucking poster. She's at my house and she knows because I just recently said I go, I go it's a billboard I kind of I go Ange I, I really could use like a new bedroom set because it's like <sighs> the first thing I got when I moved in and I got like Raymore and Flanagan crap instead of like really kind of nice furniture everything else in my house is really nice furniture so I'm like let me get change my bedroom set and get something new and Ange will just be like all right she knows what I like She'll come in with pictures, which she did. She lays them out in the uh, in the kitchen. I walk in. I look. I go, all right, this is nice. Done. So she's spoiled with, with working with me. With Jimmy, what goes with a kiss poster as far as bedroom furniture goes? How do you fucking make something? Like, what wood do you pick that when you got this giant kiss poster on the wall? That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's our little Jimmy. So, you so, know what the funniest is? After you wait four hours to finally get that picture, and it's great. You just got, you know, everyone in Metallica, wherever it is, as soon as they walk away and he looks at the... I'm a fat fuck. Like a fucking, <laughs> yeah. like a fucking four chin. What a fucking fat asshole I am. Yeah, he's never satisfied. <laughs> you think no, the guy's he's like, never happy. That's fucking awesome. Let's go celebrate. Yeah. A fucking fat piece uh, of shit I am. Look at my chin. I have yeah. no chin. Look how pale yeah. I my am. Head. My head. I'm neck. a fat mess. <laughs> look at me. Ugh. Look at this. <laughs> Our poor little Jim. <laughs> so you got to LA for the Leno thing. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's where we were. That was the situation goodness. yesterday. Yeah, seven hours from start oh, to finish. God. It was a full-time job yesterday. Yeah. People worked seven, yeah. eight hours. You <laughs> did that just to get Jimmy to LA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. And uh, wait till uh, the picture won't come back oh. to New York till oh, uh, Bill Ward's doing the show, I think, October 1st. Oh, so it has to stay out shit. there for the next 15 days. Oh, he's going to be checking on it. In Jonathan's Why? office, probably, because we're not taping. That's when we're going to see well, Bill Warren to sign out. Before God. yesterday, he was flying a separate trip just to go out to get this picture signed. <laughs> I told my manager, I said, why don't you just fly Bill Ward into New York and yes, have him sign it? Yes, and you know safer. I mean? <laughs> he said he would do it. Just fly Bill <laughs> just Ward to sign it. It's safer for thing. everyone. Yeah, just, just fly him in. Oh, man. Right. <laughs> so now that's got to be in someone else's possession. For a while. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. Now, where Almost is it going to be weeks. stored? Probably in the office, which oh, you know, my shit. manager's office. Yeah. Now, isn't that the same office that fucked up you threw out the Jack his... Klugman and threw out the cigar right. box? with the Castro. Fidel Castro thing. This has yeah. disaster written all over it. And then, and then if Jonathan, the manager, brings it to his place, is it a safe neighborhood? Right, right, Have there been right. break-ins break in the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah. Because it's going to be there till October 1st. So, oh, and then wow. he probably won't. I don't know how it's coming back. He'll, next time he does Leno, yeah, what he'll kind probably of car, bring it back. It's got to lie flat. Yeah. How, how is it going to get yeah. from the office where it's stored to the place where it's got to be signed? Yeah. Oh, me. boy, this is this, this is a catastrophe. I can't wait to that day on the set where what Jonathan new... has to bring it oh. Oh. and have him sign no, it. No, no, I don't, I'm not going to sign I got, it. No. I got I to gotta get my HD flip into his apartment. The, the, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. do a little video. <laughs> you I got, have to. He'll do it, too. Updated Cribs. Uh, updated Martin Cribs. cribs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We did one of those. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. That was he used to have mold on that. his walls. The now mold. he has kiss posters. Maybe the kiss posters is covering the mold. <laughs> but he had shit back then, too. Where, where was, was it? In boxes and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he yeah. kept it mostly at his mom's house. Yeah. Oh, I got to do an update. Wow. For, I got to. Because it's just uh, it's a sight to be seen. Yeah, I would love to see it because I hear it's just Because he's close to being a whore. Collection. That's yeah, his yeah. thing. Instead of yeah. like newspapers or cat urine, mm -hmm. he does that. Well, then also uh, uh, Keith uh, texted me a picture. They opened up a closet and it was just. Like those big Tupperware square containers, storage containers, that just said, and each one had a label on it, a handwritten label taped to it that said electrical cords. <laughs> and they were everything from any electronic device he's owned in his entire life was wound up. And coiled up and put in these boxes and stacked in a closet. So he, he would have a power cord from like a fucking floppy disk drive from 1991. <laughs> 
That's just, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, and, and Keith just started laughing at him. He's like, what? I, I shouldn't have those. Well, I recently, <laughs> yeah. he told me I had to come to his apartment and pick up this huge box. When, when you guys it's first started. Fat broad. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> when you guys first started wa working for XM, they gave you like a bunch of free radios and accessories right. and, and all that stuff, right? Yeah. It, there, there must be thirty radios. <laughs> He's a hoarder in this box, and he, you know, he just wanted me to get rid of it. He like, still got his cell phone chargers from like nineteen ninety nine. Oh yeah, yeah, from the cell cords. phones that are long gone and <laughs> from, stuff. He, from his Star Tac. He's got the cords. <laughs> I, I'm looking at this uh, cribs that we uh, the did black mold years ago with, the, with oh, Jimmy. Wow, that picture. was our old apartment. And behind the picture is black mold dripping. That is black with mold. With spores growing off of it. Yeah, because that was. Dark and moist behind those. Pictures. I remember we got that Chanel. We got that Chanel uh, <laughs> to cover up. The yeah, we, we bought it at a garage sale for like ten dollars. Wow, man, how things have changed. Oh, wow, that's my cool. God, where do they go to see the old cribs, uh, Danny? It's on, I'm sure it's it's on YouTube. Just put in Jim Norton cribs. Very easy. Nice. Very good. Oh my goodness, look who's in there. Oh, that fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, the mold. How did you guys fucking not die? That shit is like toxic. In my, oh, with the ceiling that's caving in. In my bedroom, we put tin foil on the walls. We covered it with tin foil tin and like foil. cardboard and just taped it over it. It was right next to my bed. I was breathing that shit. Holy in. shit! That shit, shit is hole. bad for you, man. That is bad. What a Christmas shit light. What are those fucking Hello, Hello Kitty? Hello Kitty lights. <laughs> oh, there are the Tupperware little things and girl shoes. I don't know. That's about chess. Chess games all over the place and. Wow, that is something. I, I got to watch that later on. Yeah. Oh, my girlfriend almost got her tits kicked off last night. We're taking <laughs> fucking celebrity photos at fucking this uh, Kevin Smith event after. And I wanted to get a picture with uh, Judd Nelson. Uh-huh. So it's all, and she's like, I know how to use the camera. She's being kind of cunty. And then I hand it to her, and uh -oh. somebody didn't know how to have the flash up. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh, boy. Does she, I'm like, the flash. And she's like, Arr. she gets so mad. It's like, hey, you didn't have the flash on. And you, yeah, you, she, she got mad at you because she said she knows how to use she it. She didn't. She didn't know. She was mad at herself. Yeah, I think so. She can't. You can't tell her fucking anything. Who did I fuck up the other day? <laughs> oh, shit. What happened? Who did I fuck up? <laughs> What'd you do? I don't know. She was showing me a video from before I knew her. It was like a family thing. It was so stupid. But uh, she had like a nice little dress on. But she's always told me like I was heavier when uh, before I knew you. I'm like, really? And then I see the video. I'm like, oh, you are heavier then. Ooh. But I didn't mean you were fat. I'm yeah, saying like yeah, you yeah. look thinner now. Right. But she was fucking <laughs> living. Really? <laughs> what did she But say? did she say originally like, oh, you? I was heavier. But not, at t not that night. She said it in the past. Oh. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that that heavier thing. The word really heavier is what killed me. I want to hear that. What what did she say to you though? She gave me an attitude. I'm like, what's the problem? And she was just like, you know, that's fucked up. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, wow. stop it. That's oh. not what I mean. And I started oh. getting. And she's like, no, you're just saying I was fatter. And then I'm like, I didn't say fat or fatter. And I'm like, you're a liar. Then it came down to that. I'm like, you're a liar. You're fucking lying. You know what's so amazing? She's so nice. She's not nice. Uh, in, in like, <laughs> when, when you take her out and she's around people, she's so nice. She's yeah, so nice the average, me. so's a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then all I hear is exactly. Ted Bundy was charming when he was trying to get you in the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Uh, Turn the flash on, stupid. Ah, uh, shit. Good point, sir. Good point. <laughs> I know how you use my camera. Really? You think the sun's gonna pop in the window, asshole? <laughs> Put the flash on, motherfucker. What picture did she almost ruin? I'll show you the picture she took. Oh, wow. There she is. There's the fucking, there's the oh master of photography. That's what celebrity was, is that? Judd Nelson. That's Judd Nelson. I can't yeah, see from here. Yeah, it's good. You would have to Photoshop that and be a Red. pro. To, to make to fix that. Yeah, it's fucking uh, terrible. Are you obsessing about the fact that your Judd Nelson photos? No, really? I got a better one. It's like, yeah, because oh. <laughs> I gently <laughs> told her to turn them. Like, no, you gotta turn the flash on. She turn said, the what? Flash on. Yeah, the first one's like you took it on Mars. <laughs> it's, instead of realizing, oh, I'm an ass and I fucked up, she gets mad at me. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm sick of when I talk to you like you're a fucking three year old. Put the flash on. <laughs> yeah, she's six. Come it's on. The worst. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Uh, I went to the premiere of Bored to Death last night. Right. It's a fucking great show. You're, I've never seen it before. But you're in it. I have been one episode. They didn't show my episode because I'm later. I heard they did. I heard they showed a, a piece of you last night. Somebody Ooh. tweeted that. No. 
No, no, no. Maybe they're talking about the... Uh, the premiere on HBO. Is Maybe they're talking about the uh, commercial that's running for Yeah, yeah. I've that... never seen the show. I just... I was... I was. Uh, it's a fucking funny show. Dude, you're... you're uh, is it a Carlisi one-man show? <laughs> Bored. Wow. Bored to death. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, gone, but... We get it. <laughs> um, what? No, I, I, I... Someone was saying they saw you on Bored to Death, but I think it might be the commercial. The preview. Running... I slap them. You're on a loop on demand. Yeah. You know that, right? They're nice. showing you just over and over again. Oh yeah, when I, there's a scene where I, I slap them, right. and uh, I was downstairs. And it's really they're all fucking nice people, and I'm downstairs and fuck, I'm playing Gaffigan, and he goes, "Yeah, one of the guys from The Wire was right in front of me while we were watching." I'm like, "Who?" And it immediately changed my demeanor. Sure. Oh yeah, and he's like, "That, that guy, Marlo." That guy, Marlo. I, Holy shit. I fucking ran over people. I was talking to the star of the show, or the guy who the show's based on. He's like, we'd love to have you back next year. You were really, you hit it out of the park. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Thank you, thank you, goodbye, Is goodbye. Is that the picture, though, that you uh, got? Yeah. On Twitter? I yeah. saw that. Yeah, Wait. yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you're part of those guys now. It does Stop it. But it's, it's amazing. I, I, oh, look I, at that's that. great, but, I mean, you're running past stars of the show you're on. I'm and... the worst, dude. I'm a child. And he was, oh, Marlo was like so what are you doing? Are you going to the party after? I'm like, oh, you do. You were so great. You're, oh. in, the, you're in their league now, you're an Jimmy. Equal. I you're can't an equal. talk to What's someone? wrong with you? Look at this. Look at Jimmy smile. Look That's at, Marlo. Right. That's fucking like, Jamie Marlo's Hector. Just like, what like, is Marlo yeah. doing? I don't know, but I couldn't believe it. Cool. I saw him out there. I'm like, Jamie Hector. I just and he just looked and smiled. And I'm like, Jamie Hector. No, you call him Marlo. That's oh, Marlo, man. Uh, Until he does something important. He's been in some past other the stuff. But th those yeah, guys are probably them. used to it. Heroes using heroes. I never oh, okay. want to hear you talk about the smile I had with Chris Cornell after that. Look at you, the goofy, smiley, happy Jimmy look on your face. It really is humiliating, though, because I can't, like, he was, a, there was an after party, like, that after the thing, he's like, so you go into the thing, like, and I just, I couldn't. So yeah, maybe I'll see. I almost went and bought a wire and then went to the party. And I, oh, I got, oh my no. God. But I didn't <laughs> no, do it. Stop. Could you sign this? I didn't do it. Oh, good. I knew if I went to the party, good. I would just talk to him about the wire and annoy yeah, him all night. Yeah. Did you hear about Friday show when you were in L.A.? Oh, my God. We I gave you not. a beating. Oh, I heard. Oh, it. Oh, did yeah. you we gave you a beating. I heard I got a good beating. Oh, I'm even scared to bring up the fact that we gave you a beating. Was it about Bill Ward get, get my picture oh, signed? Oh, it was everything. You got a sound thrash. It was everything. You might want. To, Good. <laughs> you might want E Rock to give you a copy of that show. It was you got a lot destroyed. Ah, oh, it's all right. I've tried to deserve it. Everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're we're putting together a special of uh, just everyone being thrown under the bus. Okay. <laughs> Who was in Florentine? Uh, yeah, Florentine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Kenny got involved. It was ugly. Oh, no. What did Kenny say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> See, I don't oh, even want to bring please. it up. Nothing. I have to know what Kenny said. You got a sound beating. That's all uh, I'm going to say. <laughs> Which yeah, wasn't fair because was... you weren't here. Yeah. That's why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> about your place and... And how, I kind of brought up things I heard <laughs> See, about, scared, wait, wait, oh. about Ange and Keith when they came over your house. Oh, that was all like pictures? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, you know, your the, obsession the with celebrity kiss photos. thing over your bed. And, you I don't know. know what it is, dude. I really don't know why I like that. I wish I, I, was, I was embarrassed last night. I'm like, because Ted Danson is right there. Ted Danson? I had scenes with him. And I just walked by, like, I don't, like, he was looking, talking to somebody, and he didn't see me, so I didn't even tap him. Go, Ted, we're I don't up. feel like I fit in any, with anybody. Touch his arm. Ted. Dude, I, I could have just said, hey, Ted, good to see we're, you. He would have said hi. Were other people yeah. getting pictures? What? Were other people getting pictures? Or, uh, or are you the only one running around getting pictures? I was outside when I got it. I wouldn't know. With anybody. I, honestly, it's it's fine there. Nobody cares. It's very relaxed. Yeah. Um, you see a flash, you just see Jimmy behind it. But, but with it. him... Uh, that you know, I didn't give a fuck. I, yeah. I literally would have stood I'm up in the screening and done it. I'm just wondering if Ted Danson's running around with a camera getting photos. No, he, this is this Probably is why not. I hate. Is Marlo running around getting photos? Not no. nobody is. <laughs> no, nobody is. <laughs> Jimmy was getting. This photos. is what this you're running over like other celebrities <laughs> no, to well, get it was, to it was, celebrities you don't have pictures with. Yeah, it's insane. Oh, God. It was. Uh, it's fucking embarrassing, dude. Like on the set because uh, the guy I did the scenes with was in, was Herc from The Wire. So uh, Ted Danson. And they are, let me tell you something with the wire guys yeah. everybody in the business is uh 
kind of uh, treats those guys with reverence. Those guys get a lot of respect. From, I don't care who the guy is. Cause it's they one, got no respect from the uh, academy, no, from, from, from the, the critics, but, from anything. But anybody in the but business no one gives a shit. loves yeah, yeah. them. Loves them. Yeah, they, everyone they, knows They that care what rule. their peers right. think. They right. really are. They're royalty to their peers. Yeah, yeah. It's really a yep. weird thing the Wire it's guys have. one of the have. greatest shows ever, ever. man. And, yeah. then, and, and Evan, like, dancing, no, like, he knows Cheers was a great show, but he's like, you know, it's like, this, this is the Wire. It's just a, it's a different vibe. I'll, so yeah. he was talking to the guy... Did you see Ted Danson's plane? No, does he have one? Oh, Ted Danson's plane. I didn't know he had one. Seinfeld. Oh. oh. Well, that's wonderful. I'm so stupid. <laughs> that's wonderful. I'm so gullible. That's <laughs> wonderful. I'm so glad he stopped the story for that. <laughs> that's okay. I'm so gullible. I should have known that. Yeah, right. Like, really? Everyone gets it. <laughs> then Jimmy's questioning it. I'm like, Jimmy, uh, really? I didn't know. You're in the middle of Manhattan. Ted Danson's uh, plane no, is I didn't parked mean... on what? Park uh, Avenue? Hey, look, it could have been Holy shipped. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, I got a plane, too. I also got a simple, a plain and simple, you know? Oh, chip. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Oh shit! I just fucking lo oh okay. Never mind. So I just can't oh, talk to them. Oh, but he was talking to Mike uh, Lombardozzi about uh, how much he loved The Wire. But he was just talking to him peer to peer. Mm -hmm. He's like that show is so. He was just raving wow, about really? how great. But he didn't ask for photos. He just. Told but him what you, a great on the show. other hand. Hi, can I get a picture? Take care. Ooh. I don't know if they want to talk to me or not. I just leave. I'm done. Uh, really, you don't even stick around after the picture's taken because that's all you care about. Is he the he picture. was. I'm ashamed. He was asking me if I was going to the party. Was he's like, "What are you doing? Do you know how to like have a conversation with people that are?" Do you have a picture, Anthony. Okay, <laughs> that, that's it. Is, it. is that about? <laughs> is that it? Oh my God, that's so about funny. it, right? Yeah, yeah. It is hard. Do you know your place in entertainment? You're, yes, you're right. under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's the New York Comedy Festival. I'm not involved with. I do know my place. You're that's the problem. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're moving up quickly, sir. I'm, I'm moving up from fucking Mole Hill to, to Ant Hill. You're on Leno. Exactly. Is Jay, it, I have a picture with Jay. I got it in no, 2004. It's not always about pictures. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to drive you nuts to put down the camera one day? I don't think I you're going to you're gonna get to that place though. You can, like Ted Danson can't pull out a camera and start True, yeah, start yeah. getting pictures yep. with celebrities. No, he can, but it's not, not that, you know. I mean, you got a ways to go before Ted Danson cuz now the Ted Danson fans are going to blah blah blah, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. Ted Danson can because they'll be thrilled to take one with him. What he'll do is he won't say, "Let can I have a picture with you?" What he would say is Let's take a picture together. Right, and Let, no and one would refuse. It's acceptable right. on that level. Yeah. Like, hey, I admire you. Let's do something fun. So you're not at that point yet. No, I'm. <laughs> I'm. I'm this guy. You're not that. <laughs> I'm, he's showing his picture I'm now. With the guy smile. The wire. I'm smile yeah. and, and give him a politician's <laughs> handshake while he's just like, "What are we doing?" And then run away that to see who awful. else is in the room. You might no, need I a picture. No, with him. I didn't care. I literally because Michael K. <clears throat> Way Omar was supposed to be there. I, all of a sudden, I'm thinking, God, if I could get both of them together, it'd be the oh, greatest be picture ever. Yeah. But it didn't happen. I don't know why. So you think more about the picture than the actual kind of conversation. I don't feel or like relationship. I have. I feel like I just. I'm starstruck. I don't know what to say. You've never had a conversation like just the conversation with these guys. Yeah, I have. After a while, when they're on the air, it's different. But it's, we, it's meaningless. Though, I don't right? mean on the air. I mean just hanging out. It's hard. I'm not saying it's it's easy. If, it's hard to drum up some kind of a common ground. If I'm working with somebody, like when I worked with with Michael, I worked talking to him the whole time. We hung out in the trailer. He's just coming knocking at my trailer. But there's your common ground. We I'm talking. You're at a party. You meet somebody. How do you continue the conversation without it turning into "Can I get a picture? I'm a fan." Just talking about like life. Uh tough right yeah i really yeah. don't do it yeah. i mean i've yeah. done it with guys yeah. but uh it's like, like they have no interest in me either like i don't need to do you think or are you just being no they like, don't so what why would you're they just self no, I'm, there. I'm with jimmy small talk sucks a dick i hate small talk yeah i hate you, just that small talk socializing bullshit you gotta think of yourself though think of this some guy comes up to you and not just some fucking Douchebag that we deal with on a daily basis. Hi out there. Ugh. Who are you yelling it's at? The listeners. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, just like some some what? celebrity on some level comes up to you and knows what you do and talks to you. Now, are you just going to be like, ah, oh, fuck this guy, or are you going to be like, wow, this is kind of cool. Maybe you know, I could have a conversation. 
It's kind of the same thing if they right. know who you are. You just f don't have that s security. I never think they know who I am. Never. But they all do. We've seen it in here. It just yeah, over and over me. again. They some come I in hate and, it. Not some, a lot at this point. <laughs> they all a know. Lot. Oh, I saw you at the cellar. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in those social situations, there's no real deep conversations going on whatsoever. But I could have asked him what he was doing, like, "Hey, you working? You got it? Yeah, you uh, doing it?" But I don't. I'm assuming that he's just looking at me like I'm an anonymous fan, which I am. So he's probably just looking for pussy. Yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't. I don't want to interfere. That's why I, I almost. I, I there's a couple of fans have told me like I've been. Dude, I tried to talk to you. and You didn't talk to me. But I literally never do that on purpose, and I know why. I know how fucking awful it is to be in that position. It's yeah, like you yeah. never want to fucking be. But it's humiliating to be blown off. You're like, but uh, men of similar ilk, as you say. Yes. You know, you get a celebrity comes over and wants to uh, chat with you. You would obviously like to do that. I would, but he's a Marlo, and I walked in a robe going, Hey, Lo, go fuck yourself. <laughs> There's a big difference. <laughs> All right, point taken. <laughs> How many times has Marlo been on Jay Leno? That's true. Um, yeah. Jay Leno's a big Hollywood show there, Jimmy. He has not been, to my there knowledge. There you go. So you're a little better than Marlo. Yeah, but... A little better than Marlo. I'm so happy to meet him. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's fucking cool. You think a lot of yeah, people are yeah. discovering The Wire on DVD? I know they are. It's a, I think that shows just going to continue to grow. Dude, Gaffigan, you know how many films Gaffigan's been in? And he said, this is how the conversation came up. Been a lot, yeah. I was waiting for my chick outside the bathroom, and he was waiting for his chick. And he goes, uh, he goes, yeah, and it was it was that guy from The Wire, uh, the Marlo. He's like, I was like, like, like he was kind of, Jim was uncomfortable because Marlo was sitting in front of him. Wow. Like, and Gaffigan has worked with everybody. So it's like these guys have a certain fucking vibe that they because they're, they're on such an amazing how's, show. How's Marlo's voice? We just he was he was very friendly. He was like I, he nothing, looks horribly mean, but he's a very nice guy. Nothing worse when you meet a celebrity that is like a scary motherfucker, yeah. and then you meet him in person, and he has like a gay voice. Like what the fuck? <laughs> You're supposed to be, and I'm not saying Marlo's right, 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 that, yeah. but you know, yeah. I've, been, uh, I've met a, a few, fan. yeah. Uh, it, it just takes you out of the whole thing. You're yeah. like, no, you're supposed to be that dude from that show that I love. He was that guy. No, Quiet. They're he was very feared. quiet. They're feared because they're black. No, what? no, he was, he was very nice. <laughs> he treated me a nice little white guy. Not everyone's scared Did of he? black people. <laughs> what? I am, but just not him. You're scared of black people? No. My God, who is it? In this room, no. Uh, on 145th Street at 2 in the morning, <laughs> oh, my truck well, is yeah, well, broken down a little bit. Of course. Yeah. Just a little bit of adrenaline. Of course, you got to be a little smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah little, I, I get that. I wonder bit. if he, he might have been a lucky, a lot of those guys liked Lucky Louie, but because my girlfriend was with an ear range, so I couldn't have asked. Cause it would have been too humiliating because we were fighting. But I, I know. No, you were fighting last time. You're, you're, going you're not on fighting with now. You two. Stop it's fighting. Stop it Stop already. It. It's, just awful. it's exhausting. What's going on? I know. You adore each other. What was this would fight you about? Would you just fucking? Would you just love each other? Um. Yeah. I don't know. Just, just we just got into those nerves. What happened? <laughs> I drove home and you guys like what was it two days ago? I saw a nice loving couple. Yeah, it's weird. Oh. Man. Which, by the way, I haven't even discussed yet. But he ain't even joking. I finally got to see Chip actually have a long conversation with his girl, and she oh, really? she plays right into it. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was in the front seat going, "Stop it! This is really creepy." Talks I'm, to Chip, yeah. No, but it's creepy. Yeah. Like Jimmy g becomes Chip oh, in the I've car, yeah. and then his girl uh, like like placates to him or whatever the fucking. Well, word she gets is. annoyed. Creepy. She likes Chip, but she gets annoyed at him. But he's an awful lay. Horrible. She blew him in Montreal because I know she told me. Oh yeah, because uh, or you told blew me. Him in she bl she blew Chip in Montreal because he bombed on stage. Yeah, like he came in. What's, I don't know what happened. This, I just kept saying like, hey, your shirt looks like you know you, you got a tablecloth and something. And they were like, you're not funny. You suck. Get off the stage. And he Chip was just laying there devastated, and she blew him. <laughs> I told Kenny to stop the car, and I left. I couldn't take it anymore. It's insane. Chip's getting some fucking but action. Chip, when Chip gets blown, his arms are out straight and his eyes are open wide. And he doesn't move. He can't, can't, and he can't problem? believe he's getting blown. Problem? That's <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> to see a, a full conversation uh, going on where I want to say, will you two stop it? This is weird. But, you know, I saw Tom Papa last night and I showed him my picture and he goes, you know, he goes, it used to be like, ah, you and your pictures, but he's like, man, you got some good ones. Yeah, I'm not saying it's... it's no, no, but I mean, the, the comics all shit-talked me for all years, and they Dude, were like... I'm, I'm looking at it going, that's a fucking yeah. cool picture. I would love a picture with Marlo, but you're getting in a weird place now because your your career is taking off. You can't be running around with that camera like that. Fucking, I don't care who they are at the Tonight you Show, I You might need I a new them. technique, I think.
You might have to go yeah. with, hey, let's take a picture together. I tried that with House. I got one with Hugh Laurie when I because he was on oh, the last really? episode. He said, let's take a picture together. Yeah, but he was like he, we said hello in the uh, in the hallway because he was asked me something. He was going looking for the green room, so we, we talked for a moment in the hallway. Mm -hmm. And then I as I was I spread to go out, and he was in his dressing room just standing there talking to somebody. But I think he was going over his segment. And I didn't know it. Oh, but I'm like, you uh, interrupt. I, oh, yeah, but he was polite because he had just talked to me. I think your solution is simple. Oh, like kill Mar myself. <laughs> no, Marlo, call my hand with a shotgun. <laughs> Marlo was a situation where you should have said, "Let's take a picture together," or "Let's." Uh, w w w is that what oh. you say? You want to take a, let's take, let's take a, like, hey, how you doing? When you know they know you, right? Like when I like again when I got one with uh, with. Uh, Michael, who I was working with, it was different because it was like, hey, let's take a picture because I knew he liked me. Right, right. So it didn't seem crazy so or starstruck. So you need to start at least starting to say, let's take a picture together. And then someone like Ted Dance, and you're like, hey, excuse me, can I have a picture? Yeah. You got to at least start mixing it up. I waited till the very end with him. Yeah. yeah. The last scene had been done. Yeah. I was almost embarrassed on the set, but I'm like, I don't care. It's fucking Ted Dance. It's Ted Dance. He's legendary. Yeah. And he was very nice. He didn't give a fuck. He's great. How is he legendary, really, though? Well, the biggest I mean, he was on, obviously, That's one of the Cheers, biggest fucking shows giant ever. Giant show and yeah. everything, but it's like... Cheers, Becker. All you need is one big hit like that, yeah. and you're legendary. And you're legendary. He's been, literally, it's one of the top, probably, three or four sitcoms as far as notoriety and fame ever. That's, and that's why yeah, we but, treated George Went with nothing but respect when he came in here. Tried yeah. to, yeah. No, we nothing but respect for him because he's legendary. Oh, except <laughs> poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hear that interview again. Uh, Enough One day we got to go through the entire norm. interview and just pick it apart. Enough of norm. Anyway, right on. <laughs> so yeah, I, I was I was actually uh, I really enjoyed the show. I'm not just I mean if I Sports didn't like it, death? I wouldn't say I didn't like it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be an asshole. How many how many episodes are you in? I'm only in one, but I think there's only eight. I thought you were in more than one. No, no, one episode. It was a one. He he wants to use me more for next year. He's like, I would like to write you in for for maybe uh, something next year. He really was great. That's awesome. Yeah, but you're in this episode a lot. Oh yeah, throughout the whole episode. And which episode is it? I think it's th the number three or four. Like I, wa it's funny because I knew where they were in their story when when we were in it. So I got to see the two episodes that lead up to it. And oh, now it wow. makes more sense where I was. Some of the jokes that we were doing in oh, hours that's gotta help. were a callback. I was like, oh okay, that actually is really a fucking a lot funnier than I realized because yeah. he says that in the first and the second. Oh right on. So I've never seen this show. I, gotta, I had I neither. Gotta check it out. Everyone it said it was it was really funny and uh, it's just a weird. Is there, this is their second season. Season two, yeah. And, and uh, Gaffigan's in it? No, no, he's in one episode. Oh, okay. And uh, Gaffigan's in everything. Jim's in everything. <laughs> he's just one of those people. He's a nice really guy. Is. I'm learning. If yeah, you're yeah. a nice guy, you get a lot more opportunities And he just shows there. up and stuff. Never like a big leading part, but he's in everything. And he can act. That's, that's, the, that's yeah, how I, yeah. my one commercial callback years ago was for Rolling Rock Beer. And I actually gave a good... Good read, and they you called do me a back. Beer commercial. Well, you know they didn't ask the personal details. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I was, money's money. But I remember one of the lines was like, <laughs> "You're sitting there, and the water's rising." I don't remember the water. Something about the water was rising. I don't remember what it was. It's fucking ten years ago. But I knew I was going to get it because Gaffigan walked in. And like he also had a call uh, back. I'm like, goodbye, commercial. Done. Jim he, got it. Oh, he got it. Oh, that motherfucker could land a commercial. The thought. water's rising in your mouth out of a <laughs> vagina. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have gotten that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that son of a bitch can act. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he's great. He's done so many things, though. It's got to be second nature to him. Uh, now. Yeah. He just recently had that movie too. That one. Uh, what the hell is that? That awful fucking wow. Good long call, distant, Danny. long distance relationship movie. Fucking Danny just pulled up the commercial. Latrobe, oh, yeah. River. yeah, Latrobe, Latrobe, Pennsylvania. That's it. I remember yep, that. There's Gavigan. That should have been you. Well, that was is fishing it, in th a river. This might be a different. <laughs> You know what, dude? You got your master you hatch. Match the hatch. You got your rolling rock. Sorry, but you would have never got that spot. It, no, it might no. not have been that. That's... No, I'll tell you why. Why? Jim Gaffigan's wearing a hat. You look horrible in hats. And without them. Oh. This might be the one because I was sitting. Can you turn the volume up on this? Oh, here. He's, He's the survival of the fittest thing. Uh, natural selection. It's worth a fedora. Hot day. Beer's in a cooler. Ice is melting. Water level rising. That's it. Yeah. You got a longer neck, you don't drown. Basic evolution. Basic evolution. Wow, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that, that was, was it. Commercial. Yeah, that was the one you went for. That was that was. I remember and did that pretty well. Yeah, I got a call back. I mean, again, I, I do commercials. I never, never get callbacks oh, for commercials. Jimmy, I don't. Would you want me hawking your product? Yes. My fucking cherub face and blinking eye and hooker. Oh. 
thing. Condoms, buck knives, just like <laughs> awful <laughs> rope. things. Rope. I really duct should tape. <laughs> I really should just do live reads for condoms and rope. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> People are uh, realize who I was talking about with the gay voice. By the way, that was a huge <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> Oh, right. I think I know because I don't know what the fucking right, right, right. But I don't, it, I don't give a shit. All I'm saying is it's it's. Is a it little, a character from a show we like? Yeah, it's just a little weird when yeah. you expect to. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. You just expect them to be <laughs> how they are on TV. That's all. That's why I don't want to acknowledge their real name. Yeah. I always said Greg Brady when he was doing our show. I didn't want to yeah. acknowledge his name was Barry Williams. He's Greg Brady. He's Greg Brady. Who am I to call him Barry Williams? It's Greg fucking Brady in studio. Everyone knows him as Greg Brady. Right. My girlfriend so didn't give a fuck about Jamie Hector. I was so happy when I went to the cellar and I was just talking to comedians and they all were like, oh, fuck. They were all psyched. I was like, yeah, good to her. Good. <laughs> to who? My chick. Because she didn't get. She didn't care. She took the picture. Good job. Why are you guys fighting? We just do. I don't know why. It's stupid. Really do a lot. She. I got. I got. She thinks she kind of thought when I had. I had to go do red carpet stuff, and I never do this. I fucking what? hate it. Vacuum it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was white actually. <laughs> I had to pop a few roids to <laughs> paint that carpet red for the celebrities who zilch. <laughs> um, I had to do some interviews, and oh, it's funny, I was stuck behind Gaffigan again on the line because he was doing a long one with HBO. Of course. I was just humiliated. God, does he just fuck you over? But uh, <laughs> my girlfriend got annoyed. She was just embarrassed because, like, I was. It was with me. My publicist was there. My publicist assistant were there. My publicist is fucking great. She got me in front of everybody. Entertainment Tonight people. Really? They, they won't use me, but the fact is she got them to yeah, pretend gotcha, to be man. interesting. Sure. So I fucking... My girlfriend was me. We just stand there, and, and she didn't know if we were both going to go up together. So I'm like, no, no, no. She doesn't do... I never... Uh, bring her for stuff like that. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't think she wants to get her photo taken. Well, she's a civilian. Really? Yeah. Would I? Sure. I don't care. Um, if she wanted to, I'd be happy to. Right. But Does I she, she really mind? Like, if, if you and her, like, like arm around each other, picture, and it ended up somewhere? I don't think that, she'd be... No, not a big deal. Would that upset no her care, or really. anything? I don't think so, but I hadn't really talked to her about it much. And when we first started dating, she was like, eh, no. But uh, now she might like not care. But it was like such a last minute thing, and I I get so embarrassed doing that stuff. So I went up with my with Amy, my publicist. We were just standing there, and then the assistant came over. So my chick was just standing out there. She could just like an asshole just standing there. Mm. She's like, I would have just stood with your publicist. I didn't have to to be in photos. Yeah. But it was like, and then I got annoyed. I'm like, well, why are you worried about that now? I'm working. I don't like. I'm uncomfortable doing this stuff. I'm not thinking about you. I'm, I'm fucking, I don't want to do this. It's embarrassing for me. I feel ashamed. Like nobody wants to talk to me. Nobody wants to fucking, you know, it's, it's stupid.